Hooray! Hooray! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains, and these stories have come down to us through the generations. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. His daring and resourcefulness brought law and order to the lawless frontier and blazed the trail for the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Rainbow Bend! Tell them fighting for us! Oh, Silver Hawaii! <laughs> Sam Birdwell ran the only store in Rainbow Bend. It was the only store in over 400 square miles of rangeland, and every settler and rancher bought supplies there with one exception. Sam Birdwell had never sold any groceries or supplies to Dirk Kincaid, the man who owned the biggest spread in the section. But one day... Sam! Sam, look who's coming into the store. Yeah. I've seen him tie up to the hitching rail. It's Kincaid. Kincaid and his foreman, Gonzalez. You better get him back, Deborah. They're coming in. Remember, Sam, he's the biggest rancher around these parts. If he wants anything, you sell him. You get him back. Dirk Kincaid himself coming to my store. Howdy. Howdy. Goodwill, my name is... I, I know your name. Kincaid. My foreman here, Gonzalez, dropped around yesterday to buy some grub and supplies. He didn't get them. Why... I got other customers. Yeah. Well, my lazy K ranch is in need of some grub, Savvy. Reckon you can sell them? Well, I, I'm sort of out of a lot of food. Long trip to Los Santos to get more. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. So far, I've been doing my buying of Los Santos. But like you say, it's a long travel. So I'm buying and you're selling. Yeah, if I got what you want. You got bacon, ain't you? Gonzalez. Yes, Senor Kincaid. That flitch of bacon hanging yonder. Hustle it down and put it on this here counter. Mm. All right, Birdwell. Here's your knife. Slice that bacon up for me. Uh, slice it? You heard me, Birdwell. I would have sliced it. What the cook on your spread? He can do that. Senor he... Kincaid. I am handy with a knife. Very handy. You, you want I slice this? Yes, sir. You're always itching to use your knife. Put it away. I'm asking Birdwell. Uh, so? Pick up that knife, Birdwell, and be sure you slice it thin the way I like it. And uh, just in case, here's my six-shooter resting right on the counter. Now, stud. Uh, 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 how's that? Thinner. Thinner, I tell you. All right, all right. No, by gravy, I won't do it. Birdwell, pick up that knife. No, 
Kincaid, I ain't selling you nothing. Not a thing. I sell to most folks, but not to you. Pick up that knife and start slicing. No. You're an ornery scheming crook. You own the biggest spread this side of the high Sierras. But you rustle cattle, you steal horses. You're a poison side winding rattler. Maybe other folks do what you order, but not me. Now get out. No man can talk to me like that. If you get a gun into that counter, reach for it. I'm going to blast you to... You're not sure. Put in some... Engine, get out of here and mind your own business, Sebby. You put gun back. Run away. Pronto. All right, uh, go on your head. I'm doing like you say. Mm, good for you, me, come in store, huh? Yeah, Engine, only I... Look out, look out, Gonzalez has a knife. Oh. The next time I draw my gun, the bullet may not hit your knife. <laughs> The best man. Fastest draw I ever seen. Mister, you saved the engine for sure. Sure, you hopped up with that, Lawrence. Hey, Birdwell. Sandalwood, I never saw Birdwell before, and he never saw us. We came here for supplies, but we heard enough outside. Kincaid, are those your horses at the hitching rail? Suppose they are. The door's still open. You and your foreman can make tracks right now. Now, uh, looky here, Mr. You heard me on your way. Come on, Gonzalez. I'm gone. What I said still goes, Birdwell. You won't sell the grub or supplies to the lazy K, eh? Well, you're stacking up trouble for yourself, a heap of trouble. And it won't be long in coming. Adios. Oh, I reckon I'm a plum idiot, mister. Kincaid sure means what he says. Now I've got you in trouble, too. Tano and I are used to trouble, Birdwell. We were glad to help. Sam. Sam, are you all right? Sure, Deborah, sure. Oh, I was out and back taking a walk. I was so nervous I couldn't stay in the back room. Then I heard that shot. I... What did Kincaid try to do? He tried to do plenty, Deborah. You sure you ain't hurt? I said he tried. Only the masked man and the engine stopped him cold. Masked man and engine? Who are you talking about? These two gents right here. Well, I'll be hogtied. They've gone. I don't even know their names. I'd sure like to have them on my side. Kincaid wasn't fooling when he said there'd be trouble. Senor Kincaid, yeah. almost we are back to the Lazy K Ranch. All the way from town, you are saying nothing. I've been figuring out what to do, Gonzalez. When they get it all set now, as soon as we get to the ranch house, get some of the boys, Savvy. Yeah? They're riding to every spread around here, to every rancher and settler and townsman, to every single soul who buys from Birdwell. They're buying from them no more. Birdwell don't sell to me, he don't sell to nobody. Hey, you rich man. I got a message from Senor Kincaid. He say nobody trade with Birdwell. Huh? Nobody, savvy? You stop trade with Birdwell, plant or rich man. Or Kincaid, he don't like it. Much better you do like Kincaid tell you, eh? Remember. Master's him in a hurry. There'll be no more trading at Birdwell's. But you I'm giving the orders. Don't trade at Birdwell's, that's all. Nobody's going to the store. Not me, not me. Birdwell won't sell to me, he won't sell to nobody. Uh, sure, Kincaid, sure, whatever you say. You're a tough man around these parts. If you say so, I stop buying from Birdwell right this minute. <laughs> There's Carney. Carney! Hey, Carney, rein up a second, will you? Howdy, Birdwell. Birdwell. You, you get mighty offish all of a sudden. You always used to call me Sam. Well, I... Why don't you drop in the store for a minute? I uh, can't. I, uh, that is, I'm in all fired hurry. I didn't notice that. Your horse was just ambling along. Well, I am. Oh. Say, uh, need a new vest, Carney? I just got in to supply the fanciest you ever seed. Real antelope and stitched with red beads from back east. Nope, I don't need nothing. Besides, I gotta get going. Honey, what's ailing everybody? Well, let go of that rain, will you? Honey, I'm get... asking you. What's wrong? Why ain't nobody been in my store? Why ain't you been in? Well, you ought to know why, Sam. I, uh, I've been told it'd be healthier not to. Mm. You mean Kincaid, don't you? I'd rather not mention any names. Don't have to. I suspicioned it. But I thought you fellas had more gumption. Kincaid's a tough army to rile, Sam. He's one man, ain't he? You and all the rest put together could stand up against him. 
Carney, you know what kind of skunk he is. Uh, I gotta travel, sir. I did what any man with backbone would do. I counted on you fellas to keep trading with me. They go the rain, Sam. Nobody knows better than you that Kincaid's a coyote. He handles his guns too good for argument. They go the rain, Sam. Uh, Carney! Carney! Uh, ain't no use yelling. Kincaid's got him scared to a frazzle. Every last one of them. I gotta do something. I gotta. That does for one gun. Now the other. So... Where are you going? You get back to bed, Deborah. It's the middle of the night, Sam. What on earth are you... You're wearing guns. I, I got a little business to attend to. And your horse, all saddled and ready. Sam, what's on your mind? Where are you going? I'll be back right soon. No. No, wait. Let me see your face. You're trying not to look at me. Deborah, where I'm heading for ain't a woman's business. Kincaid. You're going after Kincaid. Answer me, Sam. You're going to shoot it out with Kincaid. A man's got a right to protect his business. You can't. He'll kill you. It's a dead shot. I'll take my chances. It's better than starving. It's because nobody trades at our store. You can't go gunning Kincaid's for... Kincaid's an ornery snake. He thinks he can run this section. He thinks he can ruin me because I prefer to do business with good people. But you can't. There's a law in gunfighting. Law? What good's laws when nobody uses them? And friends, too. I thought I had plenty. But what good's friends if they won't stand behind you? Oh, you can't blame them for knuckling under to Kincaid. I ain't blaming them, Deborah. But I'm settling this. I got it. Sam, no. No, come back. Let go of me. My mind's made up. Sam. Sam, you can't. I'm calling him out, Deborah, tonight. As soon as I get to his ranch. Give me a kiss for luck. Sam. Deborah, I... Get up, boss. Get up. Sam. 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 <laughs> Hello. Did you see that? Uh-huh. Him clear in moonlight. Looked like Birdwell pushing his horse plenty hard. That's right. Come along. You go to, go to the store? Yes. I noticed the light through the window and back. You uh-huh. see it? Did you see that, Hunter? No, just closed. It was a woman. You could see her in the lamplight. That Birdwell's wife, huh? It must have been. Come on, Tonto. Hello! Hello in there! Listen. Woman crying, huh? Yes, we're going in, Tonto. Mrs. Birdwell? The masked man. That agent with you. Move one step closer and I'll pull this trigger. Tonto and I are your husband's friends. Oh, we help. The masked man... Yeah. Sam did say something about us. You helped him before, but you can't... We saw your husband making tracks. Where's he going? I tried to stop him. Kincaid will kill him. Uh-huh. Kincaid? Is that where he's heading? Sam was going plumb loco, seeing how Kincaid made everybody stop trading here. Sam took his guns. He's going to call Kincaid out. Try to look after Mrs. Birdwell. Let me do it. Mask man, where are you going? I'm going after your husband. Here, Silver. You mean it, Mask man. You'll go after him. Come on, Silver. Come on. Uh, him go after him. He's got to get there in time. He's got to... Uh, him go plenty fast. Hello, Silver. Hello. Kincaid, Kincaid, wake up. Uh, what in blazes? The Zulus, you loco. Both well, him outside the ranch house. Yeah. Sure, you listen. Come on, Kincaid. Come on out and bring your guns. I'm the call you. Well, I'll uh, be a, a dumb rabbit means it. He was to fight a gun duel with me. Get me that gun belt, Prado. Here, here senor. <laughs> you fix him good, eh? And silly, so I can outshoot Birdwell from here to breakfast. When I get through out there, he'll be face down in the dust, ready for a gravestone. Come on. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Moonlight silvered the prairie as Sam Birdwell, the storekeeper, stood outside Dirk Kincaid's ranch house, challenging him to a gunfight. Birdwell was determined to end, once and for all, Kincaid's attempt to ruin his business. Come on out, Kincaid! Come out or I'll come in and drag you out! Uh, who's that? It's Gonzales, Birdwell. <laughs> I come to tell you, Kincaid, he'll be out very soon. Oh, he better. <laughs> what is wrong? You scared, huh? Maybe I am. I ain't much of a hand for gunfighting, but I'm going through with it. You end up six feet under. Yeah, so be it then. Now get away, you ornery knife throw. <laughs> sure. Sure, I leave you by yourself now. Is that you, Kincaid? Well, if it ain't Birdwell. Come out in the moonlight where I can see you. Come gunning for me, eh, Birdwell? Come out where I can see you fair. Yeah, I could let you have it right from here. Yeah, I reckon you could. And I reckon that's the way you like to fight, too. I ain't toted a gun for years, but I still got nerve enough to use them. Now, come on out. It's you or me, Kincaid. Come out and come get... Come on, Silver! Kincaid, get him back. Shoot! Let him have it! Come on, Birdwell. You're coming with me. Let go of me, masked man. Set me down. Birdwell, you're staying on this horse and get her away from here. Don't go on, you mister. Save us. We'll talk later. Come on, Silver. Fast, the boy. I'll go, Silver. Away! This is far enough. We'll talk here, Birdwell. Ain't no good stopping me, masked man. I'll go back there as soon as I can. I gotta face out Kincaid once and for all. If I hadn't come along, you'd have been killed. It would have been a fair fight. It so... would not. Huh? I saw the flash of Kincaid's guns as I rode up. He had them drawn. He was ready to shoot. You mean he yes, was... from the porch before you could see him. He had no intentions of giving you the slightest chance. Why, that low-down pole cat I ought to Besides, get... Besides, Birdwell, he wouldn't stand a chance against a gunfighter like Kincaid, even face-to-face -face with an equal draw. Yeah, I knew that. But thunderation, mister, a man's got his pride. Kincaid's ruined me, and I can't take it lying down. You still have your friends? Friends? What good are friends when they don't stand by you? There ain't one of them dares to come into my store. I'm not so sure of that, Birdwell. It's true. Not one of them dared stand up against Kincaid's orders. Sometimes it takes people a long time to act. Yeah, too long, masked man. Too long. Sometimes it isn't until someone is gone that his friends realize they should have helped. Huh? Yes, man, the way you said that, like... Like you had some kind of plan up your sleeve. Would you be willing to do as I tell you? Mister, you saved me twice. I reckon I'll do anything you say. All right. I'm riding back to Rainbow Bend, but you'll stay here. What? Well, I, I don't savvy. You will, Birdwell. Now listen. Injun! Injun, is that... Um, that friend, that silver. How are ye? Steady, silver. I got there in time, Kimasabi. Mister, Mister, where's my husband? Where's Sam? His horse come back, but the saddle was empty. Your husband is unharmed, Mrs. Birdwell. I left him up in the hills for the time being. What? Kincaid was going to shoot him without giving your husband a chance to reach his guns. He could have but done... Mister, if Sam ain't hurt, why didn't he come back here? I have a plan to help him. That's part of the plan. Mister, you... You ain't lying to me. Sammy. Friend, always tell truth. Your husband isn't even scratched, Mrs. Birdwell. You've got to believe that. Mister, I reckon I do believe it. Fine. There's something about you that makes me trust you. You say you've got a plan to help Sam. By refusing to sell the Kincaid, your husband has lost all of his trade, hasn't he? Yes. Yet everyone is friendly with him? Oh, everybody. If it weren't for Kincaid's orders, they'd still be buying. Very well, Mrs. Birdwell. I want you to hitch up your wagon. Huh? I want you to make the rounds of all your friends. The ones who are afraid to stand up against Kincaid. I want you to tell them your husband went to call on Kincaid and he didn't come back. But, mister, if I say that, they'll think Sam's been done for. Yes, they will. They'll jump to that conclusion. But it'll take nigh on to two days to get to all of them. They're all spread out. Then take two days. Tyler can go with you. Oh. What about you, masked man? You coming along? With this mask? No, I'll stay here. I have some work to do. You call on everyone you can. Yes, masked man. 
Yes, and, and I'll tell him just what you told me to say. But, Mask Man, I've been setting up here nigh on to two days now. I ought to be down in my store. Why? You have no business to attend to? Well, maybe I ain't. You promised you'd stay here till I told you to leave. You've got to keep that promise. All right. All right, I will. But, hey, hey, mister, where are you going? Here, Silver. Mister, where are you going this time? Look out there across the slope toward Rainbow Bend. My eyes ain't as good as yours, mister. It's a wagon. Your wife's coming back. Well, I'm sure glad... No, Birdwell. It's getting dark. I can go down there and meet them, but you stay here. <laughs> Come on, Silver. It's the masked man, Injun Rena. Oh, good friend. Oh, 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 he must have it. Oh, hey. Well, masked man, we've done it. Me and Tonto must have covered nigh on to 70 miles, but we told them all. They're coming into Rainbow Bend? In the morning. It's just like you figured, mister. They all jumped to the conclusion that Sam was done for. I sure had a hard time not letting them know Sam was alive and well. He is, ain't he? He's fine. How did they take the news? Oh, ask the engine. They was plum ashamed of themselves. Mm, that's right. You must be tired, Mrs. Birdwell. Uh, I'd like to see Sam. Uh, you'll see him in the morning. I look up there into the twilight. You see that fire winking on the hill? Is that where Sam is? That's the camp. You sure those friends will be here? Positive, mister. Good. I brought Scott for you, Tyler. Time for us to make tracks. Uh huh. Me come. Now you go home and get some sleep, Mrs. Birdwell. And in the morning, you lead all of Sam's friends up on that hill. Understand? I sure will, mister. Good night. Good night. Adios. What do we do now, King Wasabi? I've been watching Kincaid's ranch every night, Tyler. Kincaid's been on the lookout for Birdwell. Huh? What's more, Kincaid believes I'm with Birdwell. He thinks the two of us are dangerous. That we interfere with his rule of the district. Oh, Tonto's happy now. So far, I've made sure Kincaid or his men didn't see me. But this time, I'm making sure they do. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. On the trail. Uh, all sleep. They might just as well get back to Birdwell. Uh, we do that. Where are Birdwell now? On the hill south of town, Tyler. Uh, we go sleep, huh? We've been up most of the night, Kimasabi. Yes, we'll head back for camp. So, time for me to tell King K. His news he'll be waiting for. Lighter, Mask Man. You see him yet? We were close enough to Gonzales last night so he could hear Tonto and me talking, Birdwell. I'm sure Kincaid has been told. Huh? What is it, Tonto? Look, there. Off that way. Two riders crossing the ridge. I, I can't make him out at all. It's Kincaid and Gonzales. It must be. They'll be here in about an hour. Isn't that right? There's no doubt what they plan to do. Dry gulch, eh? What else? All right, Tonto, on your way. Uh, here, Scout. Head down into Rainbow Bend. Get to Mrs. Birdwell and make sure she comes up here pronto. Uh-huh. Me, Sammy. She'll make certain those friends come along, too. Hurry, Tonto. Uh, me tell them. Get them up, Scout. Now, Birdwell, you know what our plan is? Yeah, Masked Man. If them hombres want to surprise this campfire, then... Then that's just what we'll let them do. It shouldn't take them long. <coughs> well, get your horse, Gonzalez. Campfire's right ahead. Yeah, the smoke is really this way. I can't hear a sound. I reckon this will be like shooting at a target. Senor, what is that? Sounds like horses. Gonzalez, spread that mosquito, mosquito part and look Well? Senor, it is the Indian. He blamed the woman, Mrs. Bordwell, and all the people. They're coming this way, look. What the... Yeah. Senor, maybe we better go, eh? Nothing I'm doing. We still got time. Follow me. What can care? Look, the others at camp. Stop Cast your eyes on that, Gonzalez. Two of them wrapped up in blankets, not more than 50 yards down from us. Oh, there is a white hat. That must be the masked hombre, eh? Yeah, and the other's Birdwell. 
Can't see his face, but he's got that spotted vest at his side behind the blanket. Which one I shoot? You take blood well, and I'll get the mask, man. If we start shooting those below, they come fast, no? Let them. We still have time to get to our horses and get away. I already think, kid. I take blood well, yes? Yeah. All right, Gonzalez. Now. <laughs> What's more? That is fine, eh? They do not even store. Ditter and Macro, both of them. Now, come on. we got to make tracks. Faster, Kinky. Come on. The horse is right past this clump of the... What the... What in blazes is the mess, man? Drop those guns. Move. Hey, and Bordwell, it is impossible. They are both dead. Dark soldier, no, there's such a cold cat. You drop those bullets into logs under the blankets, Kincaid. Now drop those guns. No, no, fed it up, Gonzalez. Get him. Oh. <laughs> Knock the guns clean into the bushes. And, and look, mess man. Here comes Deborah and all the rest of them. Deborah, you all right. I ain't even scratched, Deborah. Howdy, Carney. Howdy, Howdy Sam. Howdy. 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 Why don't you gents keep your eye on these two ornery skunks? I got them, Carney. Sam, I reckon we owe you an apology. It weren't until we thought you was dead that we realized we let ourselves be bulldozed by a polecat. We should have stood up against Kincaid right from the first. Hey, just a minute. Hold on a minute. It's a mass man. Quiet, you fellas. Quiet. Tyler and I are going. But first, I'd like to say a word to you men. Sam Birdwell did what every one of you wanted to do. He stood up against oppression and wrong. He sure did. Yet each of you was a little too lazy. Yes, and a little bit afraid to back him up until you realized what might have happened to Sam. Yeah, we thought he was dead. Yes, Connie. But from now on, I've got a feeling that you'll act like true Americans. You remember to stick together all the way. To fight oppression and wrong no matter where you find it. Mister, these fool cats are on their way to the calaboose. Adios to all of you. Come on, Kimo Savage. Adios. 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 There you go, Sam. Masked man and his engine pod. I just wonder where we'd be if he didn't come along to help folks out. Oh, Deborah, we won't think about that now. For a gent that's supposed to have been dead, I'm full of ginger. How about it, gents? Is my store open for business again or ain't it? Oh, hey. <laughs> Just heard the copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.